Patrick, the floor goes to you. Thank you, Chair. I will um, try to be quick. Thank you, Birgit, for proposing uh, some uh, limitations and safeguards to, to make this um, unprecedented proposal a little less monstrous. Uh, you've had a difficult time since the EDPS opinion came in only last week. The EPRS opinion is outstanding. The DPA assessment on the compliance of this procedure with the GDPR is um, still outstanding. And child sexual abuse is a particularly abhorrent crime and much more needs to be done to, to address this in terms of prevention and, and supporting law enforcement and capacities. But precisely because this is so important, victims really have a right to effective measures that will stand in court. And let me be clear, this proposal and the, the proactive screening of everybody's private message content will not uh, stand in court and is thus entirely ineffective. Uh, it is also counterproductive and exposes vulnerable children to additional dan dangers. And let me explain, I have to be quick. Um, it's not effective as we can tell by the numbers that keep rising, even though the providers have been using this for a number of years, numbers are not going down. I think it at best diverts communications to encrypted channels where law enforcement have an even more difficult time to monitor them. It doesn't protect children, but actually makes them more vulnerable. According to the statistics of the German Federal Crime Agency, actually 40% of those investigations for child sexual abuse and exploitation material are instigated against children and teenagers. These are being prosecuted even though they clearly lack any sexual motivation and uh, algorithms that will alert unknown images to to moderators even create the risk that new material will be circulated by rogue uh, moderators which is a threat to children and also there is a threat that um, this uh, flood of reports really diverts limited law enforcement resources away from targeted investigations undercover into those that actually uh, commit child sexual abuse. Finally, as you mentioned, Birgit, um, um, the compliance with GDPR is unanswered by the Commission. Um, the DPAs are only investigating this, and the EDPS rightly tells us, make sure this complies with GDPR before going ahead with uh, such legislation. So. We're really at a stage where we need to take a step, step back and ask ourselves. The EDPS tells us that the necessity and proportionality of this legislation has not been demonstrated. Does it really make sense to rush a temporary derogation for an unprecedented a general and indiscriminate analysis of all communications content, which doesn't even attempt to create a legal basis and with legislation announced for only next year. Does this really make sense? I don't think the Commission has made a case for rushing. This date of the 21st of December really applies to member states only. It's not relevant for companies and no company has told us that they would stop on 21st of December, whatever they are doing. So let us discuss on, on Friday in the shadows meeting whether we really want to follow down this path or whether this analysis really constitutes interception of communications and is proportionate only where used on suspects and with a judicial order, as the um, European Court of Justice's jurisprudence uh, in the La Quadrature case tells us. So I'm looking forward to um, continuing um, our discussion uh, with you. Thank you.